In the Ethiopian region of Tigray, the drought is compounding a man-made catastrophe for six million people who have been under siege from Ethiopian and Eritrean forces for 21 months, sealed off from the outside world with no telecommunications, no banking services, no electricity, and limited fuel. As a result, the people of Tigray are facing multiple outbreaks of malaria, anthrax, cholera, diarrhea, and more. This unimaginable cruelty must end. The only solution is peace. Earlier this month, a delegation from the US, European Union, United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Canada visited Tigray in an effort to facilitate peace talks. Following their visit, the US and EU issued a joint statement saying that swift restoration of electricity, telecommunications, banking, and other basic services in Tigray is essential for peace talks to go forward. So far, the government has refused. Since the humanitarian truce was announced in late March, some humanitarian aid has been delivered to Tigray, although nowhere near enough. In addition, the shortage of fuel and cash continues to be a major impediment to the distribution of aid and to WHO's efforts to respond to outbreaks, provide vaccination against COVID and other vaccines, and deliver other life-saving services.